Hello and welcome to this tech tutorial on bypassing the FRP or Google account lock for the Alcatel U3 mobile phone. This tutorial is for educational purposes only and I take no responsibility for this being used on a stolen device. This tutorial requires little technical skill and I'll show you how to perform this bypass to get rid of the lock in just a few simple steps. First thing you need is a micro SD card. Any size will do. We need this because you have to download some applications from Root Junkie's website. The two files you need to download are shown here. Please download both of these files and place them onto the SD card, just in the root directory. Once you have done that, put the SD card back into the phone, doesn't matter if it's on or not at this point. And just to know that this tutorial has only been tested on the Alcatel A35046i, try it on other devices if you would like to. Now we start this tutorial at the welcome screen and click the arrow. Then you need to press skip because the sim is not needed for this process. And now you will see your Wi-Fi networks. This is important, you need to connect to a Wi-Fi network for this to work. So go ahead and connect to any of your networks and then press next. This process will take a bit of time, so let it go through until you see the Google account lock screen, and accept anything that might appear as you wait for the lock screen to appear. And here is the FRP lock or Google lock screen. This is where we can actually start the tutorial. Go ahead and press back once to get back to your Wi-Fi settings. Scroll down the networks list until you see add another network and click that. Make sure you are still connected to a Wi-Fi network as this is needed to continue on. Just type in some random letters. Once you are happy with whatever you have typed, go ahead and touch and hold on what you have typed until a small little window appears above the text. Then click the three dots and then click assist. You will see a border flash around the screen. A Google window will appear, tap no thanks, and you'll be brought into a browser. So at the top here, type in files and you should see the shortcut for files appear. Go ahead and click on that. Allow anything that might appear. Now we are in the file manager. Click on SD card to show the contents of it. Depending on where you put the two files you downloaded, go ahead and find them. The first application we need to install is called Android 6 Google Account Manager. Click on that once you find it. Then click on settings when it's prompted to bring you to an option to allow unknown sources. Click on the little slider to allow it, then press OK when prompted. Now press back once, and then click on the file again. This will bring up an install window. Go ahead and install the application and wait for it to finish. Once it is done, click done. That's the first application installed. Now you will need to find the application called com.rootjunkie.frp bypass and go ahead and click this and install it like the other one. Wait for it to finish and then go ahead and click open. This will bring up a sign in page. There's three dots at the top right corner of the screen. Tap on them to show the window that says browser sign in. Tap on that and then tap on OK and let it load the next page. This page shown is what you'll need to put your actual Google account details into the phone to perform the bypass. So go ahead and input your Gmail account and password and press sign in. This may take a few moments, so just be patient. Once it's done, it will bring you back to your file manager. At this point, go ahead and restart your phone. Wait for it to boot back up and we can start going through setup again. Okay, so here we are. Click the arrow, press skip, then press skip again, and then press skip anyway. Now it's going to check your connection and other unimportant stuff. It will also say account added, which you just press next to keep it moving.
And now it will show you to set up email, just click not now. Then you can set up security options. I'm just gonna skip it all for now. And then that's it. This bypass has been successful and you can use the phone as normal. Your Gmail account will be signed into the phone. So if you plan on selling it or whatever, make sure to remove it before factory resetting. Anyways, that's this done. Please let me know if this worked for you. It may work on other devices, but this method pretty much is only for the Alcatel U35046i. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial worked for you. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.